Hey y'all! Remember these guys? They are still awesome. They have live animals is the only one of their albums they have on um, Spotify. I think you can find their other albums at other platforms. They had, um, they, they're all good actually. So, if you can find them. If you ever get the chance to see them live, do it. They play in Sioux Falls a couple times a year, I guess, these days. They're not super active as they used to be, but I tell you what. They're always a good time. Had by all. So, yes. Check them out. For real. I suppose I should talk about other songs, though, because this is Spot of Friday, and it's also Spot of Saturday. We had six great songs in one day. That is a first. Usually we have six for the week. So, can we get it up to seven for the week? Well, we'll try 20 more today. And that includes Jesse Reyes from Spotify Singles, the collection. Or just, you know, the Spotify Singles they release. And Headlines. I'm not sure which headlines this is. Usually these are covers. Oh, it's Drake! It's Jesse Ray singing a Drake song. It really works, too, I gotta say. It gives it a whole other, um look at the song hearing a female sing it we just hit seven great folks jesse reyes well chosen up next is shoulda featuring babyface wow another name i've not heard in a long time it's lucky day but they spell day with an e at the end why not you know if you're gonna get uh, somebody to do the r&b parts of your hip-hop song get baby i mean why doesn't anybody else get babyface that guy's a legend Legendary producer, songwriter, singer. I mean, he's there. Go get him. This is good. Up next, G Herbo and Little Uzi Vert and Like This. Hmm, it's okay. It's okay. A lot of anger on this one. That gives it a bit of an edge I like. But, I don't know. It's um, going to be tough to get this one on the radio. But we'll see. Right now, St. John and Future with Roses Remix. Um, what just happened? Funny story. Um, I hit play on this and I didn't hear it near anything. And it's a little... Okay. Funny story about this song. Uh, actually, I didn't hear anything when I hit play. And I saw that I must have accidentally clicked the button to switch it to a different output because it said it was playing over our TV. So I switched it back to my computer. And I'm like, wow, this really heavily samples Crocodile Rock by Elton John. No, it was, it was somebody in the living room trying to use my Spotify account and listening to Elton John. So I switched back and then switched back to Crocodile Rock and then switched back to this song. Then I went downstairs, and it was the kids, and they're going to listen to music on a different method, like YouTube. So I can listen to Spotify, although, to be totally honest, now that I've told that story, while listening to the song, I kind of wish it had been Crocodile Rock I was listening to, because this is... Uh, this is pretty ordinary. Mediocre, is what I'm trying to say. That was the too long didn't listen. Hey, that works for TLDR, too. Oh, wait, it's TLDL, I guess, instead of TLDR. I guess it could be too long, didn't receive in my ear holes. Anyway, up next is g Easy and Stand By Me. Like, you're going to stand by me or stand by me? I do not stand this song. Up next, Baby Queen and Internet Religion. This is this a song about QAnon? Because that's kind of becoming one. I don't like it. Okay. This is great. I don't know much about Baby Queen, but I hope there are good things in the store in the future, because this song is legit very now. It speaks a lot to what's going on right now, and it's just a good song. There's some guitar on it. Poppy enough to get on the pop radio, but, you know, I could see her swerving just enough to get to the rock radio. So, yeah, I like this a lot. This is pretty great. Up next, For the People in the Back! Which is weird, because they have it in all small letters, which I guess would be with the people in the back. It's Role Model, which is in all caps. I'm confused. Eh, this is okay. It's not great. It, it's okay. Once I was sitting in the back of a concert, it was Joe Satriani, and I almost fell asleep. I mean, 
This is no knock on the show. I mean, Joe Satriani is legit one of the greatest guitarists who ever lived. But it's just the lights, and he was playing a really smooth song, and just backs up against the wall, and it's just kind of tempting to just fade out to sleep. So, I don't think there's any Joe Satriani. He has a new album that's actually really good. So, it's never on these lists, though, so. But yeah, his new album's really good. This song's okay. Up next, Remy Wolf and Disco Man. Apparently, Remy Wolf knows where there's still a disco in operation. Okay. This, this is alright. It's good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Up next, the Rock on Tours. Didn't expect to see that name today. And Blank Generation. Huh. I didn't know the Rock on Tours had anything coming out. This is really good. Great. I'd go that far. This is legit one of the best Rock on Tours songs. I mean, I like the Rock on Tours. A little less than I like, you know, the White Stripes, obviously, because every Jack White project is judged against the White Stripes. And somehow they all come up a little short. I don't know. Remember when people used to make fun of Meg White for not being a great drummer, and yet every album Jack White has released since then with various other musicians and even singers like Alison Mosshart or his own stuff for the Wreck and Tour, everybody's like, eh, it's just not quite as good as the White Stripes. It's like Meg White added that ingredient that is just hard to define. It's just, I don't know. And she didn't really even write the songs as far as I know. She just played drums, but just, I don't know. Just something lacking in his music without her. And it's hard to say. It's just undefinable, unrecognizable, uncapturable. It's very strange. Anyway, up next is Gabriel Garzon Montano and someone... Related, I'm probably gonna at least put you in okay at minimum. Up next, boy Pablo and hey girl. I was just talking about how Meg White adds a certain something undefinable to the White Stripes and Jack White. There's a certain something about this song I can't really identify either that makes me like it. It is probably not Meg White though. Anyway, this is good. Yeah, boy Pablo, check it out. Powfu in a world called of chaos. Like me trying to say that. So their idea of a world of chaos sounds like a little to no chaos. I mean, if you ta if chaos is in the name of your song, it, sh it should be a chaotic song. The song is very neat and orderly. Mediocrely so. X Lover is up next with Mad World. It's okay. It's an alright pop song. It's alright. Up next is Amin and Riri. Is this a song about Rihanna? Hmm. Riri is kind of Mimi. Up next, Gashi and Paranoid. Will this be a remake of Black Sabbath? Well, thankfully, it's not a remake of Paranoid by Black Sabbath, but it is a f kind of a fun little electronic song. Works for me. It's good. Up next, Danny Lay. Oh, uh, you know, she actually she had a song. Oh, what was it called? Danny Lay. It's on my, hang on. It's in my liked videos on my phone. Because we haven't done that segment in a while. Like, it's time for nothing's more interesting than watching an old dude try to use his phone segment. But this is actually going kind of quick. It's like my phone is gone. I'm getting a new phone. So I'll show that off when it gets here. But. Thanks, Stimulus. Uh, liked videos. Um, oh, I should mention that. I don't think that song will be in here, but it should get mentioned. Uh, Danny Lay, Do It To Me. It's on a... Uh, right there. Danny Lay, Do It To Me on Vivo. You should find that one. Also, yeah, Doobly Doobly Do. And the whole first vampire... I've seen so many videos on my like list deleted for copyright stuff, but the whole dang Vampire Hunter D, the movie from 85, the whole dang thing's on YouTube, and it's been there for, like, eight years. Nobody's taken it down. That may be different by the time this is watched by whoever, but still. This blows me away that that's still on there. Anyway, I'm excited to hear this new Danny Lay song, so let's check it out. It's called Dominican Mommy. Danny Lay! Oh my goodness! This is very different than the song of yours I saved in my liked videos on YouTube. Very, very, 
very different. I like it. It's great, but it's very different. That was like a smooth R&B kind of cooing song. This is straight up like mad rapper song. She can do that too? Why am I one of the few people who've heard of her? She seriously needs to better agent. I don't know. Up next, Kevin Gates in Grandmother Grave. Um, this is one of those songs I should like because of the subject matter, but it's just kind of mediocre. So there's that. Up next, R&B, Young Dolph and Megan the Stallion. So I was ready to just say, all right, you know what? This is pretty good. Then Megan the Stallion comes in and just uh, says, oh, hell no, this is a great song. And you will put it on the great list. And I'm like, okay. So yeah, this is pretty great. Like I said, the Young Dolph part is good. But that Megan the Stallion part just gives it that pushover. Well done. Up next, Kevin George and Changes. Another Black Sabbath not cover. All right, before the lyrics came in, I was like, wait, is this a cover of Tupac's Changes? Because that's not a good idea. That's one of those songs that just shouldn't get covered. It is not. It is its own song. And just for that, I'm going to say it's okay. But you had me guessing there for a moment. I'm like, oh, don't be a remake of Tupac Changes. <laughs> don't, don't be a remake of Tupac Changes. <sighs> not sure what that just was. <sighs> anyway, let's wrap this week up before I make any other weird noises with Christian Leave and No Use. So the album cover has him running with his dog. So if you're dog crazy, you'll probably like it for that. I'm a cat person, so it does not affect me. Therefore, I have judged it mediocre. It had nothing to do with the dog. I'm okay with dogs. Dogs and I are okay. Cats and I are more than okay, but dogs and I are just okay. You know what? That's a Saturday. So I'm uh, probably... Maybe go listen to some Spoon Cat. And uh, yeah, we'll see what uh, happens on Sunday. <laughs>